Hey, welcome to Graphic Policy Television, GPTV on Brad. It's Wednesday, which means it's brand new comic book day, and new comics are hitting the shelves all across the world. You can get them digitally, you can get them physically, you can get them any way you want. It's new comic day. It's like the best day of the week. So, uh, DC hooked us up with, well, whatever's in this box. Clearly, it's something to have to do with Border Town. Oh, we already did a review of Border Town. Absolutely loved it. So, we're going to open up the box, show off what's inside, and do another review. So, first, what's in the box? Um, so obviously DC hooked us up with this. Vertigo sent this uh, this to us. I have absolutely no idea. Every so often they uh, they send stuff like this to help promote things. Watchmen they sent a box full of pancake mix and stuff like that. As long as the comic, right here we got the comic, which is pretty awesome. And it's like really stuck on us with glue. So we got a copy of the comic inside this little box. So. About Border Town, little coming of age horror story about Aztec Hell Dimension invading the land of the living. It's broken out of fictional world that landed in your real life mailbox. Real life world uh, leads to the creation of Border Town 2. Modern headlines mixed with the centuries old. Um, blah, 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 blah. Alright, so let's go with the rest of the box and see what's in here. We've got Border Town Salsa Medium. I don't know. I'm, I'm not a salsa eater, so the chances of you getting me to eat the salsa are slim to none. I actually just don't like salsa. Yeah, I'm weird like that. And we got some Border Town tortilla chips. I actually have the bags of tortilla chips. I do like eating tortilla chips, just not with salsa. Um, and then what's really awesome is we've got a little luchador mask that we can uh, show off. You know what? I'm going to throw on the mask. I think it's everything in here. I'm going to throw on the mask, and then we're going to do a review of Border Town. We're, going to take, we're actually going to take glasses off. I don't really need my glasses anyways. And you know what? We're going to do all our reviews today with this mask on. It's actually not that bad. All right. Border Town. It kicks off Vertigo Comics. It's out in stores today. Uh, so it is by Eric Esquivel and then Ramon Villalobos, Tom Raban villain. Uh, basically, the story takes place in Devil's Fork, Arizona. It is about all of these uh, mythical creatures that are kind of bleeding over into our world. And uh, a little kid, uh, kid that is moving there with his family. Um, so what are the things I really like? So... The story begins revol revolving around Frank. Frank looks white, but his background is a little bit different than that. He's moving to this new town, doesn't know any of the kids. High school kid has that like Scooby-Doo aspect about it that I really, really enjoy. Uh, it's kind of fun like that. And uh, Frank then meets a whole bunch of kids. Uh, and I think Eric does a really good job presenting high school and all kind of crappiness there. And with it, he actually brings some uh, sociopolitical stuff in the modern world to it as well. I really don't want to kind of spoil that. I think it's like one of the things I really liked about the comics, the twist of, uh, of who Frank becomes friends with and then uh, becomes enemies with. Uh, so that's all, I think, really, really interesting and fantastic. Uh, you can tell that uh, there's, there's some great themes out of it. It has to do with being outsiders in the world, um, kind of fitting in. Uh, not fitting in, who's the monsters, who's not the monsters, uh, immigration in a lot of ways, uh, which is not just a lot, in a hell of a lot of ways. It just, there's a lot of different themes and plots and subjects and all of them kind of different weights as to how, like, really big they are. But at the heart, is is a monster story. It is a story about uh, these monsters that, you know, as a white boy from the North, don't really know much about. I am about as white as white they come, so uh, I, you know, I don't know Aztec monsters, I don't know uh, Chicano history, I don't know uh, Mexican history, um, uh, like all all these things are, are fairly new to me. You know, we have the courses about early Americas, but that's about it. So this isn't really something that I grew up with, uh, nor is it something that I'm very familiar with. So uh, this should be this is really interesting. I I love it for. Uh, the fact that it it is a traditional uh, monster story uh, with you know kids figuring out some weird things going on, but at the same time kind of dealing with their own personal stuff. There's that, as I said, Scooby Doo aspect to it, some Goonies aspect to it. Um, it's just it's it's good. It's really really good. 
Uh, the art, too, I think is solid. Um, I, I really like kind of the monster's design in it. I like the kids' designs in it. Um, we'll kind of kick off the beginning of that to show some of that. So this is the, the artwork of some of the monsters that you see. Um, just, it's good. And what's cool is I don't know what any of these monsters are supposed to be. So I have no idea what they should look like. And, and kind of, you know, this is all pretty cool stuff to me uh, when it comes to that. So, I mean, basically this is presenting a, a pretty, like, standard monster story with a twist as to what monsters we're seeing. So I gotta give them mad props to that. I think this is really cool. I'm kicking off Vertigo. It's got a great Vertigo vibe to it, and I, I just can't wait to see where it goes. I can see uh, this going on for quite a long time and uh, all kinds of different spins to it. So this is in comic shops today. You can go get this. Um, we got a link beneath this video. You can put in your zip code. I'll tell you if your shop's near you. No shop, no problem. We've uh, also got some affiliate links. Um, they are affiliate links, so we get a small percentage of that. Uh, but by doing that, you help support our site, so thank you very much for that. I want to thank DC for opening us up with the review copy and obviously this box and all this cool swag and, uh, of course, the mask that I'm wearing. Uh, as always, we appreciate your support and thank you for watching. So until next time, keep reading those comics and keep it geeky. Hey, thanks for watching the previous video from Graphic Policy Television. Just by watching, you help support our site. Thank you so much. Now, if you're watching these videos, you probably care about geeky things like movies, television, comic books, toys, games, video games, you name it. You can go and subscribe right now to our YouTube channel to stay in touch and catch all the new videos, or check out our website at graphicpolicy.com. There's a nice link on this end of the video. But as always, thank you for watching. Keep on rocking and keep it geeky.